Well, welcome to the 700 Club. Millions of Americans along the East Coast are bracing for a possible record-breaking snowfall this weekend. Just an inch of snow has already created chaos with traffic in some areas. The storm could bring historic amounts of snow to some regions up to two feet, and in other places could get hit with high winds and blizzards. Caitlin Burke has the story. After a slow start to winter, the East Coast is about to feel the full force of it in what could be one giant snowstorm. The thing that has us worried with this storm is just the depth of the snow and the potential for wet snow. At least 15 states are under winter storm watches today, from North Carolina to Boston. With people wondering if this storm will really be as bad as forecast, and officials saying better safe than sorry. We don't want to overreact, but we encourage people to, to uh, start getting prepared. Potential blizzard conditions are expected along the I-95 corridor, especially near D.C., New York, and Philadelphia. Less than two inches of snowfall overnight was enough to cripple that same area. Just outside of D.C., cars were stuck on roadways for hours. So I drove home from work, and I'm not used to driving in snow, so it was pretty rough driving home, and it took a while. Ahead of this next storm, officials say stay off the roads. The National Weather Service warning that conditions will be life-threatening. The worst of the storm is forecast to hit Friday through Saturday, but some snow is expected to continue through Monday morning. Caitlin Burke, CBN News. Well, I hope you're all stocked up uh, because please stay off the roads. If, if you're not used to driving in snow, please stay home. Well, in other news, less than a week after being released from prison in Iran, Pastor Saeed Abedini is heading back to the United States. John Jessup has that story from our CBN News Bureau in Washington. John? That's right, Gordon. Pastor Abedini is expected to be home tonight after three years, three and a half years rather, in Iran. And for the first time since his release, we're now hearing from him directly about what it's like to be free. The American Center for Law and Justice worked for Saeed's release when he was in prison. Chief Counsel Jay Sekulow spoke with him while he was receiving medical treatment at a U.S. military hospital in Germany. Let me ask you, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. Today was like my first day, you know, of my life. So uh, I found that I was born again. Yeah. <laughs> so being born again again. Pastor Saeed is an American citizen who was thrown in prison by the Islamic regime for charges related to his Christian faith. Police in Iraq say a pair of powerful Shiite militias are behind the abduction of three Americans kidnapped in Iraq last week. Unknown gunmen seized them Friday from a private residence in a neighborhood in Baghdad. A police commander said no one can do anything in that neighborhood without the approval of those militias. It was the latest in a series of recent high-profile kidnappings. Well, here at home, some good news on the health front. More and more Americans are living past 100. That's according to the Centers for Disease Control. Experts say better medicine and public health efforts are helping Americans live longer. Life expectancy a century ago in 1915 was just over 52 for men and 57 for women. So people who are 100 today are basically doubling their expected longevities. And people over 100 include all groups, men and women, whites, blacks, and Hispanics. And Gordon, that's good news for all of us. It is good news and uh, also means we're going to be working longer. Uh, we, we won't be able to retire quite as young if we're going to be living to 100. Well, we'll be right back with more of the 700 Club right after this. United tonight because of the name of our teams or of our schools, but because of the name above all names. Jesus. Woodlock. Rated PG. Now available on Blu-ray, Combo Pack, DVD, and Digital HD. Tom and Robin had a dream, but they saw no way to make their dream come true. It was always just out of reach, especially after Robin lost her job. For years, Tom and Robin Rabine have dreamed of living in the country with enough land for horses and a shop for Tom. But they always thought their dream was just out of reach. You know, that's for real rich people, you know, we're not going to be able to afford something like that. We always wondered, how do people do it? And they get these properties with these nice barns and shops on them, you know, and how do people do it? In 2009, Robin lost her job, leaving Tom as the sole breadwinner. But they remained hopeful and committed to doing things God's way with their finances. God loves us and He wants to bless us, but He also has certain things He expects from us in obedience to Him. 
and one of those things is tithing. We never really stopped tithing, though, through that whole period. God sustained us through that. One ministry they partner with is CBN. He wants us to give into causes that will bless other people, our church, CBN. The 700 Club encapsulates everything that one would want to give to. They give to homeless and they provide water and they feed. I mean, they do so many things. There's these aha times when you'll say, you know, we're part of that. We are part of that. We're helping build that house. We're putting that well in. And he and I are like, yeah, you know, we're really pretty excited about that. Robin never gave up on finding their dream home. She even called CBN for prayer support and encouragement. I've called CBN forever because they come alongside me with wonderful prayer and I feel sustained and buoyed after I speak with the prayer counselors there. She was praying and she described this beautiful place with green pastures and cows and a view of the mountains. And I'm thinking, that sounds fabulous, you know? And then before we hung up, she said, I want you to make a list of the things you really want from the Lord. So he did. Not long after, Tom and Robin found a property that matched everything Robin had prayed for. They were able to purchase the home and 10 acres for a price well below market value. From there, God just blessed our socks off. <laughs> and Tom and I are like, pinch us, you know, God, this is too awesome. And probably within a month, if that, we had closed on this property. You just have to step back sometimes and just like, wow, thank you, Lord. This is like, to me, a demonstration of God's love. And the view of the mountains was stunning. It took my breath away. And I just sat there and I thought, how good you are, God. How good you are, you know, to care that much about me and my desire. Tom recently took a new job with more pay and Robin has never had to go back to work. They say every good gift comes from God a result of following his financial plan. His law of reciprocity that you give and it'll be given and the windows of heaven will be open and pour a blessing upon you you can't contain. Boy, this is pretty close right here. Pretty close right here. Here's the promises from Psalm 37. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. When you delight yourself in him, then you delight to obey his commandments. You delight to do it God's way. And then the promises come true. What happened to Tom and Robin can happen to you. God watches over his word to perform it. All you have to do is follow the principle. Oh, well, Janine went from being a single mother on welfare to graduating from college and buying her first home. And she says all her success is linked to a decision she made years ago. As a single mother, Joni Ontiveros wanted to provide her two children with everything they needed. But with no job skills or college education, she struggled to find work and eventually had to live on welfare and food stamps. No one likes to be poor. It's humiliating, it's embarrassing, it's, it's shameful. I didn't plan to have to be on housing assistance. I didn't plan any of the things that happened in my life. It just happened, and as it happened, you start taking on this uh, mindset of just doing the best you can with what you have, and that's where I was. She was 31 when she went to church with a friend and accepted Jesus as her savior. My heart changed immediately to the point that the next day, and I know people, I've heard people say this, and I thought, oh, that's just a cliche. The sky was bluer. I could hear the birds clearer. I could smell things that I just didn't notice that I could smell before. It was amazing. Empowered by her faith, she determined to get off welfare and provide a better life for herself and her children. She learned from her pastor that it starts with tithing and giving. He went on to talk about how if you're faithful in these, and that was the one area where you could test God. You could actually test God. And I, that kind of, hmm, <laughs> well, let me see. So I decided, I, the Lord had already been dealing with my heart for a couple of months in different areas. This was an area I needed to surrender. I needed to trust God, and I did. As she began to give, things started turning around for the family. It wasn't soon after that my children both got qualified for a GATE program, the Gifted and Talented Education Program here in California. Found a home walking distance from that program, which was wonderful. As for Joni, she started taking whatever work she could find and eventually enrolled in night classes. She says she kept giving and God was always faithful. 
it's the people of God that make the body and it's up to us to support the work of God on this earth. And that's what the church does. After several years of working hard, she landed a full-time job at Southwestern College near San Diego, where she works today. And it wasn't long after that, God started doing miracle after miracle in my life, and he hasn't stopped. Joni says even without a degree, she got numerous promotions over the years. In 2013, she earned her bachelor's degree. At 50 years old, I was finally able to buy my first condo. I bought my first brand new car. The next year, I bought my second car. She also started giving above her tithe to ministries like CBN. I saw an episode with Operation Blessing and it captured my attention. And I really liked what they were doing. I believed in what they were doing. And I started to watch the 700 Club over a period of time. Everything they share is gospel-centered, Christ-centered, people serving the Lord. It's just the plain truth. Joni loves her job, and she gives God all of the glory for the success in her life. All of these things have been linked to my faithfulness and tithing, I have no doubt, because there wouldn't have been a way without that. God is wonderful, and, and all I can do is say, thank you, Lord. And if he can do it for me, he can do it for anyone, anyone. And he'll do it for you. Here's the principle. It's from Malachi chapter 3. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. And prove me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Uh, she received that wonderful blessing, and you can receive it too if you just follow the same principle. Now, if I can get some a drum roll, I've got some great news from CBN partners from California are saying we love giving to CBN so much we want to challenge others to give. And so they're challenging you for the next hour, $100,000. So let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this, and we ask for blessing for the partners who have made it possible. And we just ask that the windows of heaven open and a blessing be poured out on them that they cannot contain satisfy the desires of their heart. Give them this, Lord, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. $100,000 is the challenge amount. That means existing partners will match your giving dollar for dollar for the next 45 minutes and 14 seconds. So call us now. That's what we're asking you to do. We're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is it? It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you can give at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold for you, which is $40 a month. There's also 1,000 Club, which is $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, now's the time to do it. Call us, 1-800-759-0700. Wendy? Well, when you give to CBN, we want to give something back to you. This is Pat Robertson's latest DVD called Heaven, What God Has Prepared for Those Who Love Him. In it, you'll find answers from the Bible to questions about the afterlife. Plus, you'll hear firsthand accounts from people who died, went to heaven, and came back to life. Take a look. I said, Father, I pray that you forgive me for my sins. You said you have many mansions in heaven, and I pray there's one for me. They didn't think I'd make it through the night. They thought I'd die of shock. I could feel just life leaking out of me. Code blue, we need the crash card in here. And I was very aware of the fact that I had just died. I wasn't afraid. It was like, I'm going home. Heaven, see real life stories of people who've been there in this new teaching from Pat Robertson, available now. Have you ever asked yourself, where am I going to spend eternity? Well, it's the most important question you will ever ask yourself. I love the words that Jesus said right before he left and went back to heaven. He said, I go to prepare a place for you and for me. Now, that's exciting. I don't want to miss that, and I know you don't either. And we want to encourage your faith to believe all that God has for you. It's all in Pat Robertson's latest DVD called Heaven what God has prepared for those who love Him. Do you know where you'll spend eternity? Again, the most important question you'll ever ask. This is yours when you give us a call right now and just say yes. I want to join the 700 Club, just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. It breaks down to just 65 cents a day to become a CBM partner. Uh, if you do that, we want to bless you in so many ways, but this is going to be yours, so go to your phones right now. Gordon? Well, when Nevin graduated from college, he had more than just a degree. He also had $80,000 in debt. Nevin Hooker has long had a passion and calling for children's ministry. So he was excited to land a full-time position out of college. But on his salary, 
Paying down $80,000 of student loans and personal debt seemed impossible. I would start the day praying, you know, God, please help me to pay off this debt. And every day kind of had this hopeless feeling like, is this ever going to, you know, am I ever going to be able to pay this off? He picked up some side jobs, but they weren't much help. Then he realized he needed to tithe the full 10% off the top of his paycheck. But shortly after, he found out he was losing his job. I was praying for a miracle because it was that feeling like I, there was no other options. I was, you know, facing this insurmountable thing of losing my job and having all this debt and not knowing what to do. As his last day of work approached, Nevin says God gave him an idea. I was producing children's ministry resources and I thought, well, I might as well like, you know, put all these resources on this website and sell children's ministry resources for church leaders. I paid a guy 50 bucks to put a website up for me really fast and uh, launched that my last day in my job. He called his new business childrensministrydeals.com. He was amazed at how quickly people responded. In the first 24 hours, um, it did over $17,000. And by the end of the first week, it had done over $130,000 in sales, which is just, that's a miracle. Like, that's unbelievable. Then shortly after, he called his mom, who's a CBN partner, to share the news. And she said, you know, this is really crazy, but the 700 Club called me on your last day of work and said, how can I pray for you? And she said, well, I'd really love to pray for my son, who's really discouraged right now, and is just trying to find something to do. And so she said, we prayed for you. You know, the 700 Club was a part of that success. They were there from, from day one. Nevin became a CBN partner. He says he's happy to give to a ministry that meets people's needs around the world. Even though I can't physically go to some of these countries and help, um, you know, widows and orphans and, and helping with the disaster relief and things like that, but I know I can support um, the 700 Club and their work in doing that. And so that really is, I think, helpful for me to be able to be a part of that. As his business grew, Nevin increased his giving to CBN. This past year, I decided to more than double my monthly support um, to the 700 Club, just because I felt like I'd been blessed so much and, and the, the teachings that I'd received and the, the prayer ministry that happens there had, had been such a blessing to me. I wanted to really up my giving. Right after doing that, I just saw a dramatic increase in the success of our business. Our sales went through the roof and, you know, I'm just blown away at how faithful God has been um, when you decide to give and when you decide to tithe. Nevin soon paid off his debt, and today churches from all over the world are using his resources. With his business thriving, Nevin is convinced it's because of following biblical principles. This is just God showing up in a big way, and it, for me it was a miracle. There's no other way to explain that success. And just to have the freedom of not being held captive by all that debt is really good. It's really good. When you get out of debt, it's really good. Here's a promise for you. It's from Isaiah 58. I want you to share your food with the hungry and to welcome poor wanderers into your homes. Give clothes to those who need them. If you do these things, your salvation will come like the dawn. Then when you call, the Lord will answer, yes, I am here. He will quickly reply. That is the foundational verse behind Operation Blessing. And Nevin put that into practice. His mother called and said, my son needs a job. He needs a, a hope. He needs a future. Can God provide something for him? And God came through. He answered that. When you call, he will answer quickly. What is the condition? Are you taking care of the poor? Are you helping those in need? If you do that, then your salvation will come forth like the dawn. If you want to start doing that, if you want to be a part of everything CBN is doing around the world, give us a call, 1-800-759-0700, and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month. That's just 65 cents a day. And when you call and join at that level, I want you to have this. It's my father's latest teaching. Heaven, what God has prepared for those who love Him. And in there, will ask, answer questions like, will Christians be judged for their sins? Will you know your loved ones? Will you know your family in heaven? 
If you want answers to those questions, get this. Heaven, what God has prepared for those who love him, it's yours when you join the 700 Club. So call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Well, after losing her job, Lindy had no income for months. Her utilities were turned off and her mortgage was in foreclosure. Then she heard the same message three different, different times in one day. And that message changed her life. At first, Lindy Arnold wasn't sure of her decision to leave real estate to sell insurance, but it's turned out just fine. It just ended up being the absolutely perfect career. I mean, I've really loved it. I love my clients. She made the switch in 2007 after losing her job during the housing market crash. Early on, things were going okay until the economy downturned the following year. I didn't get paid for four months. I had no income for four months. And my utilities were turned off and at, upon certain occasions and my mortgage was in foreclosure. And if it had not been for my church and my friends, I don't know how I would have made it. The church helped pay some of the utilities and gave me money for gas because I had to still keep working. Then one Sunday morning, she heard two messages on television and one at church talking about the importance of tithing. And I said, okay, Lord, I get it. Three, three sermons in a row on tithing in the same day. I get what you're trying to tell me. And I vowed that I would start tithing. In faith, Lindy tithed on what money she made. She says God showed her that he is her provider, giving her everything she needed to grow her business. I began having more clients. I began having more referrals from, from clients who were happy with their insurance. And there were so many things that happened though, blessings that were totally inexplicable. One of those was that she was able to keep her home. And I praised God. I knew it was purely God. It had to be. Beyond tithing to her church, she also gives to CBN. When I see all these people all over the world, how joyful they are at just having clean water, you know? And I think, I want to be part of that. Lindy believes her success has come through her obedience to give. Everything good that has happened to me, I truly believe because I obeyed God. I obeyed God. It's not that you give to receive. It's that you give to obey God. It's just literally changed my life. Not only has it changed my life financially, but the fulfillment that I get, the peace and contentment that I have from knowing that I'm doing what I'm meant to do. I mean, there's just ways, there's just ways I'm blessed every day. I love that story. Here she gets three different sermons on tithing. And she says, tithing is all about obedience, if you'll just obey God. And here is the promise from Isaiah. If you will only obey me and let me help you, then you will have plenty. Lindy went from, from a desperate situation into prosperity, into an abundance because she chose to obey God. When you do it His way, that's when the blessings come. If you want to start that, give us a call, 1-800-759-0700. Just say, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. When you call, ask for Pledge Express. That's where the bank does all the work. There are no checks to write. And we send as our gift to you, Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call or log on to CBN.com when you give monthly on the internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. Do it now, 1-800-759-0700. Let's go over to Andrew at the phones. Andrew? Thank you, Gordon. No more tears, no more pain, and no more fear. That's what we can expect when we get to heaven. But what else is in store for us? You're going to find out in this new DVD. Take a look. Join the 700 Club and get your copy of Heaven, the newest teaching by Pat Robertson. You're going to see some amazing stories of people who have died and gone to heaven. I was free. I wasn't afraid. I could feel peace from head to my toe. I'll also be talking with a renowned cardiac surgeon. How many of your patients died and came back to life again? Dozens. 
have in fact died and have experienced heaven. Call 1-800-759-0700 to get your copy of Heaven, What God Has Prepared for Those Who Love Him. And then I'll be sharing the Bible answers to some of the most important questions people have about eternity. Pat, are we eternal beings? Do we live when this life is over? That's what the Bible says. There's no question that we are not extinguished at death, but our spirits will live on forever. Get your copy of Pat Robertson's newest teaching heaven available now you saw dr chauncey crandall in that clip you know he he prayed for a patient who had been dead for 40 minutes and this patient came back to life i want you to get heaven it's our gift to you there's some inspiring stories on here wonderful testimonies of people who say the love of god is just overwhelming in heaven we want to encourage you in your faith with this gift when you join the 700 club we're going to send you one if you join at 700 club gold level 40 dollars a month we're going to send you three copies of heaven and maybe you can go to the thousand club or higher and receive five dvds you can keep one give some to family and friends who you want to encourage in their faith give us a call 1-800-759-0700 let's go back over to wendy Thanks, Andrew. Well, when you become a CBM partner, you're helping people all over the world. Like the desperate mom in our next story. When her husband first looked at their baby, he almost passed out, and their neighbors called the child a monster. Shur Sien moved from Vietnam to China to find a job to support her aging parents. She soon married and became pregnant. Then five months into her pregnancy, she got bad news. The doctor said he couldn't see my baby's nose in the ultrasound, and he would have a severe clipped lip, so I could just go ahead and abort him. But I would never do that. He was flesh of my flesh. For the first few months, Shur Sien had to take care of Shun Shang by herself because her husband worked long hours as a brick maker. I almost passed out the first time I saw my son. When I first brought Shun home, I heard neighbors whispering behind my back. She's Vietnamese. That's why she gave birth to a monster. So Shur Sien kept her baby away from people as much as possible. I told Shun not to listen to what other people said, but really, I was terrified for him. Shun could barely eat. He was malnourished and hungry all the time. I was really worried that he wouldn't survive. And if he did, everyone said he would be mute. I knew he needed surgery, but that cost way more than we had. So one day at 2 a.m., when my baby was asleep, I prayed, God, please provide surgery for my son. Then. A few days later, out of blue, I got a phone call from CBN. We told Shur Sien that we were sponsoring cleft lip and palate operations and that her son was invited to receive free surgery. I was in tears. I feel like I was in heaven and God had heard my prayers. Shun came out of surgery looking like a brand new boy. Now he won't be a mute and he'll be calling me daddy any day. I know Shun will have a bright future now. Because of your help, my son is completely healed. Today, my home is filled with laughter. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. You have shown us that true love knows no borders. And when you become a CBM partner, you help make miracles like that baby's smile possible. Isn't that exciting? And it's so easy. If you'd like to be a part of what God is doing around the world to help hurting people and here at home, it's so easy. Go to your phones right now, 1-800-759-0700, or you can log on to CBN.com and just say, yes, I'd like to be a CBN partner. I want to help people all over the world with humanitarian aid, with fresh drinking water, with medical supplies but more importantly, with the good news of Jesus Christ. So we need you to go to your phones right now. There's many levels here at CBN. There's our $20 a month regular CBN partner um, at 65 cents a day. You can go to our $40 uh, or more a month. That's our gold level. If you can do more, and a lot of us can, let's go up to our 1,000 club. That's just $84 or more a month. Our 2,500 club is $209 or more a month. And Founders is $5,000 a year, which breaks down to $417 a month. And we have something called the Chairman Circle, which is for those who want to give $10,000 
or more a year. So many levels here, something for everyone. Just pray about it and see what God will have you do today. Gordon? Well, Ilhan is a Syrian wife and mother who feared being kidnapped, enslaved, or even beheaded by ISIS. So she and her family ran for their lives, leaving behind the only home they'd ever known and all of their belongings. Ilhan and her husband Samer fled their village near Kobani, Syria, the night before ISIS overran the city. We left everything to save our lives. I was scared that a horrible death was coming for us if we stayed. We could see the black smoke rising from Kobani behind us. We were so afraid. I thought they would capture my wife and enslave her. The helplessness makes you feel crazy. They made their way to Erbil in Iraqi Kurdistan, hoping to find work and start a new life as refugees. What they found was a daily struggle to get by. I worked construction, but I stepped on a nail and got tetanus. Now my leg hurts so bad that I can't do hard labor. That is the only work available for refugees. I feel so desperate and frustrated because I can't provide for my family. The rent is so high and no one here wants to help refugees. I can't work outside the home because women are oppressed here in Iraq. I'm so worried about getting what my baby needs. I also have a typhoid infection, but we can't afford medicine. When I met with the family, I learned Ilhan worked as a hairstylist when they lived in Kobani. So we took her shopping and bought her everything she needed to start a salon right in her own home. But CBN also got the family food and medicine to treat Ilhan's typhoid. And people from the church we partner with regularly talk to the family about the love of Jesus Christ. Thank you so very much for doing all this for us. We have been desperately searching for hope. You gave that to us when everyone else turned away. I'm really very grateful because you gave us so much. We appreciate all that you and the church have done for us. We will never forget this. You can be a part of blessing people, blessing people in their most desperate need. You can be a part of that. How? Just join the 700 Club. A portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing to help people around the world. Another portion goes into the work of CBN International to preach the gospel around the world. If you want to be a part of all of it, give us a call, 1-800-759-0700 and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Let's go over to Andrew at the phones. Andrew? Thank you, Gordon. Well, just imagine getting a glimpse of heaven and living to tell about it. Well, that's exactly what happened to Mickey Robinson. After his plane hit the ground and burst into flames, Mickey shares his amazing journey to heaven in our new DVD. Heaven, see real life stories of people who've been there in this new teaching from Pat Robertson. And I was trapped and I was soaked with airplane gasoline and on fire from head to toe. I had head trauma, massive lacerations, tremendous burns over my body. I had some internal injuries they didn't really, really know about. For the first time in my life, I called out to a God I didn't know and never served. I just said, God, please help me. I'm sorry. Give me another chance. My body was fighting a battle that in the natural, there was no way it could win. At that point, I had an experience. I had no grid for this at all. My inner being, my spirit man, went perpendicular to my body, and I was like immediately ejected and transported, and I, I all of a sudden was thrust into a spiritual dimension. Heaven, what God has prepared for those who love Him. Available now. I was so inspired by Mickey's story. In it, he said, the love of God is pure and perfect, and his love was just poured into me. I encourage you to join the 700 Club so we can rush this gift out to you, heaven. I have used stories from the 700 Club in order to uh, watch them with family members who don't know the Lord. And the stories have really led to wonderful discussions about Christ, and it's opened a lot of doors that I couldn't have opened without stories like this. If you join the 700 Club, we'll send you one copy of Heaven. If you join at the 700 Club Gold level, that's $40 a month, we're gonna send you three copies. Or you can go to a higher club level, 1,000 club or higher, $84 a month, and we will send you five copies of Heaven. You can join the 700 Club by calling one 800 759 or logging on to CBN.com. Let's go back over to Gordon. All right, I've got some great news. Some partners from Tennessee want to add 110,000 to this challenge. They want to take it all the way to 210,000. And let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible to increase this challenge. And, and for those watching, just speak to them, encourage them. Let your peace be all around them. We ask it all 
in Jesus name. Amen. 210,000 is the challenge amount. 22 minutes, 58 seconds is the time on the clock. Give us a call, 1-800-759-0700. Well, Don owns his own small business, and he's always got plenty of customers. Even during the tough economic times, the business continues to grow rapidly. And his wife, Rochelle, knows the reason why. A flooded basement is a homeowner's nightmare. But for master plumber Don Metrijohn, it means work, something he rarely has a shortage of. Today, I went to a house for a call. While I'm there, I get three other calls. So it's like, oh, great. God has been very gracious to me. Don eventually started his own company with Rochelle keeping the books. While she believes much of Don's success comes from doing what he loves and doing it well, there's a bigger reason. I think it, the business continues to grow because of his giving. But there's something else that compels Don to give. So it's not necessary that I do this out of uh, fear or out of an obligation. This is an opportunity for me to express to God how much I care about Him. And they feel that giving to CBN is one of those opportunities. When you become a partner to a ministry, then you become part of that ministry. Partnering lets me know that part of my money goes into Superbook, which is something that I've always liked. You know that part of that money that you're using is going to Haiti to help with relief or wherever. You know, CBN just brings its relief to so many different areas. They're thankful how God uses what they give to bless them and others around the world. The right reason to give is that God says that you are to give for Him. And then He takes it and uses it in ways that you can't even begin to imagine. God increases. He's the source of 30, 60, 100 fold. He's the source. And when you understand that, then living in accordance with His principles, saying, I want to live my life the way God wants me to. When you do that, and you do that cheerfully, that's when the blessings come. If you want to start a life, we're in 2016. If you want to say as part of my New Year's resolution, I want to tie this year. I want to see what God will do. It's not some quick fix. It's not a get rich quick scheme at all. It's when you do it faithfully and you do it continually and you say, I love doing it. That's when the blessings come. If you want to start, give us a call. 1-800-759-0700. Just say yes. I want to be a member of the 700 Club. Some of you can give at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold for you at $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $84 a month, and that adds up to $1,000 a year. At whatever level God is speaking to you, call us now, 1-800-759-0700. Wendy? Well, the Bible says true religion is caring for widows and orphans. So when a 90-year-old widow needed some massive home repairs, Operation Blessing was there to help. 90-year-old Agnes Maples was facing hefty fines of up to $2,500 a day. A family member had been storing his belongings and trash at her home for years. When the neighbors complained, the city took action. They tried to get him to get it out. It was terrible, all kinds of garbage. Because of her age, Agnes has not been able to remove the trash or the other items. Plus, her home had fallen into disrepair with holes in the roof and no air conditioning in her bedroom. Life was becoming very hard for the elderly widow. My roof had got bad and there was animals and stuff getting in. I didn't know what to do. I wasn't able to do it and I knew I couldn't do it. With nowhere to turn, Agnes contacted Operation Blessing to see if they could help. They're angels. They came in and cleaned out all the stuff, tore the sheds down and tore the trailer down and taken everything out. In addition to repairing Agnes's damaged roof, we got some help from Regent University volunteers and did a few little extras for Agnes. We put in a pathway to the backyard, built beautiful flower beds, finished the debris removal and cleaned out Agnes's shed. When they started working and they sure did do a good job. You can see back there. And they're all my little angels. Everything is beautiful. And I never will forget them. And I love them. At the end of a full day of work, 
Operation Blessing volunteers had one last surprise. They asked me what I needed, and I said, I need an air conditioner. I said, please get me an air conditioner. So they surprised me with one. God bless them, and they're wonderful, and I love them all. I've been blessed and blessed, and God has never left me, and he's still with me. I'll tell you what, after Hurricane Katrina, I had, uh, had the opportunity to spend some time with Operation Blessing down in New Orleans, and I got to see firsthand how amazing they truly are and how they do incredible miracles for people like the woman you just saw. You know, when you join the 700 Club, you become the hands and the feet and the arms of Jesus to a hurting world. And if you'd like to take part in what God is doing around the world, it's so easy. Just go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. The number on your screen, 1-800-759-0700, or you can log on to CBN.com. Uh, when you do that, ask for Pledge Express. This is an electronic monthly giving. It's so easy. Uh, your bank does all the work for you. There's no stamps, no checks, no hassle. Very convenient. And because you save us money, we're able to give you this great teaching called Power for Life. This is a teaching by Pat and Gordon. Every month it'll come into your mailbox and you will be so blessed by this. So this is our gift to you when you ask for Pledge Express. We're in the middle of a big challenge. Let's put the number up, $210,000 with 16 minutes left on the clock. Is that right, Gordon? 16 minutes and 32 <laughs> seconds left on that. $210,000 challenge. Call us now, 1-800-759-0700. Aditya is a young boy who has spent lots of time alone and hungry. That's because his single mother barely made enough money for food. And she spent half the day fetching water for herself and her son. What's even worse, she was about to lose her only source of income. Vanitha was abused and then abandoned by her alcoholic husband. She was left with a young son, Aditya, and no means to support him. So she borrowed a sewing machine and became a tailor. My mother works hard just to pay my school fees. When I come home from school, I usually don't have anything to eat and I don't have any toys to play with. It makes me very sad. Benita could only spend half of her day sewing because the rest was spent getting water from a farmer's electric powered pump. It was a mile away from her home and there was no guarantee that she would return with water. Sometimes there were power outages, so we had to wait for hours for it to come back on. And once it did, we would fight to get our jugs filled. When that happened, I didn't have time to sew enough to buy food for my son. Then Vanitha found out that her only source of income was about to be taken away. She had to return the sewing machine. The local pastor prayed with her about her job and water problem. Not long after we prayed, a CBN water drilling team came and dug a well in our village. Now we can easily get lots of water whenever we need it, and we don't have to fight over it. We also gave her a brand new sewing machine so she will never have to worry about her income. And we gave Aditya some toys. I'm so happy. Now my mother can get water quickly and come back home to make us food and help me get ready for school. I also like playing with my new toys. I'm earning enough money to raise my son because all of the villagers are coming to me to stitch their clothes. The well and sewing machine has given us lots of joy. I want to thank you so much for everything. And thank you. If you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of that. If you're not a member, join with us. Join in everything we're doing around the world. Be a blessing to others and see what God will do for you. Call us 1-800-759-0700. We're in a $210,000 challenge. If we get the red number up, we've got 77,000 to go, which is 13 minutes and 45 seconds. It's going down to 76 and it's about to go down more. Here from Geneva, Illinois, a 2,500 club member saying, I want to double this year. I'm going to founder $5,000. That takes us down to 70. Uh, on the red number, 13 minutes, 26 seconds on the clock. Call us now. That, that red number is the amount left to be matched. 
Uh, so if you want your giving doubled right now, we're in a $210,000 challenge. So that means if you give $20, it's like giving $40. If you give $100, it's like giving $200. If you give $1,000, it's like giving $2,000. So join with us. Do it now. 1-800-759-0700. Let's go to Andrew at the phones. Gordon, thanks so much. What do we really know about life after death? That's what you're going to find out in this new DVD. Take a look now as Pat Robertson describes the one reward in heaven that surpasses all of the others. Heaven of new teaching from Pat Robertson. The Bible says God isn't loving. He says God is love. He is love itself. And that's how we know God, because he first loved us. And that love is experienced when people die. They come into a sense of love that human beings cannot even understand. It is overwhelming to them. Heaven, what God has prepared for those who love him. Available now. There seems to be so much confusion about who goes to heaven and why and what's it like. This new Heaven DVD sheds a lot of light on questions like that. If you're a 700 Club member, we thank you for your partnership with CBN. And we encourage you today, perhaps this is the day you can move to 700 Club Gold Level. That's $40 a month, and you can have twice the impact around the world. And when you join 700 Club Gold, we will send you three copies of Pat's new DVD, Heaven. Let's go back over to Wendy. Thanks, Andrew. Well, Orphans Promise has helped more than 100,000 orphans in more than 60 countries. Each child has their own personal story, like the little boy you're about to meet. His life was in danger every day until people like you came to his rescue. Each morning, Abu Bawe prays with his classmates at this daycare center, which is supported by Orphans Promise. He thanks God for friends, because just a few months ago, he didn't really have any friends. Every day, when he saw the other children going to daycare, he would ask, Mommy, why can't I go? It broke my heart to tell him I didn't have enough money for it. He was so lonely. While his sister went to school and his mom, Sinki, looked for work, he occupied his time playing in the narrow walkways near his home. Many times I would come home to find him playing in dirty water by a drain. He started getting rashes on his arms from that. Ababalwe's father abandoned him and his mother when he was just six months old. When she couldn't find work, she begged neighbors for some porridge. I felt embarrassed, and I knew they didn't even have enough food for themselves. They gave me what they could because they knew my baby was hungry. At times like that, I felt like God didn't exist. Then a local church found out about the family and invited Abba Bawe to join the daycare center. He gets two meals each day and a good education in a safe environment. Today, he and 23 other kids are sponsored by CBN to come to this center for free. I can see that Ababalwe has changed. He tells me stories from the Bible and talks about the Ten Commandments. Since she had more time to look for work, Sinki found a job and has a steady income. Now, people come to her when they're in need, and she always helps them. Now I know that God exists. Everything has changed because of you. Thank you, CBN. And thank you. If you're a partner with CBN, you're helping children like that all over the world. You're giving them hot food. You're giving them clean places, clean beds, places to sleep. You're doing so much. Well, it's so easy to join the 700 Club. All you have to do is go to your phones right now and just say, yes, I want to be a part of that. And uh, you can also log on to CBN.com. It's another great way to give. We have many levels here at CBN. We have our regular $20 a month level at just 65 cents a day. We have our gold level, just $40 a month. A thousand club is eighty-four dollars a month. Uh, Twenty-five hundred club is two hundred and nine. Founders is four hundred and seventeen a month. That breaks down to five thousand a year. Or we have our chairman circle, where you can give ten thousand dollars or or more a year. And we have a lot of folks that give at that level. So feel free to do that as well. Uh, we are in the middle of a big challenge. Let's put the number on the screen: two hundred and ten thousand dollars with eight minutes and thirty-six seconds left on the clock. And I'm going to throw it back over to Gordon. Well, Meng Un is a young girl from China who loves to read Bible stories, but sometimes she had trouble understanding them until she discovered Superbook 
in Mandarin. Meet eight-year-old Meng En from China. My name Meng En means to be blessed by God. Meng En asked her parents for a children's Bible when she was two. Now she loves Jesus. He says, "Will you call on me? I'll listen." So I feel he is very near to me, and I'm really interested in the stories of the Bible. But she always had a lot of questions. Whether I read the Bible to her or she read it herself, she didn't really understand everything. I wished I could see what happened with my own eyes. So she started looking at Christian storybooks and drawing pictures from the Bible. Then she was introduced to Superbook in Mandarin. I fell in love with Superbook the first time I saw it. It helped me to know God better, and the characters looked so real. I feel comfortable with Superbook because it's an accurate representation of the Bible, and it's safe. When Mom would ask me. Mom, can I see Superbook today? And I said yes. She would start to cheer. Mangan watched the first Christmas online twenty times in two months. I always point out that Chris gave his treasure to the poor boy in story, and that touched her heart. She counted her coins and donated them all to CBN for Superbook. Then she made a personal visit to a CBN-sponsored special needs school and introduced the children there to Superbook. I wanted to help children in need, like Chris did, and I wanted to help them believe in God. Mangan can't wait to watch the next episode of Superbook in Mandarin. I want to share Superbook with more and more needy children. It feels really good to help others. Superbook is going around the world, teaching the children of the world the stories of the Bible. We're broadcasting in a lot of different languages with huge audiences in the Philippines and in Indonesia and in India. We're getting ready to blanket Africa. I'm getting ready to blanket Latin America. It's wonderful what happens when people join together to say yes. Let's do this. Let's preach the gospel around the world. Let's let the little ones know. Let's let children know that God loves them. And hear the wonderful stories of the Bible in their own language, and so they can understand them. And when the Bible characters are talking, they're talking verses from the Bible,、uh, and we use the most popular Bible translations in their culture. So it all lines up. When they go back and read the Bible, they say, "I've seen this. This is part of a Superbook episode." If you want to be a part of it, give us a call: one eight hundred seven five nine zero seven hundred. Just say yes. I want to join the 700 Club. It's just twenty dollars a month, sixty-five cents a day. We've got a two hundred and ten thousand dollar challenge. That red number, fourteen thousand, is what's left in that matching challenge. So if you want your gift match, call us right now. We've got four minutes and fifty-four seconds left in it. Call us now. One eight hundred seven five nine zero seven hundred. Let's go to Andrew at the phones. Andrew. Thanks, Gordon. You know I love those Superbook stories. As a dad with three children under 10 years old, I can tell you our family adores getting together and watching Superbook. Let me ask you to, to consider a question: Do you know what will happen to you the instant you die? You can find the answer to that question and more in this new DVD by Pat Robertson. Take a look. It's the most important question you'll ever ask. I could feel just life leaking out of me. The answer will change your life. Everything that was lost, he's been restoring, and it will decide where you spend eternity. The further we got away from the accident site, the more peace I felt. Will I go to heaven? I remember being so at peace. Heaven, a new teaching by Pat Robertson, available now. Give us a call at one eight hundred seven five nine zero seven hundred, and we will rush this gift out to you when you join the seven hundred club. Heaven. It's just twenty dollars a month, and we're in the middle of a challenge—a two hundred and ten thousand dollar challenge, with just under four minutes remaining. So give us a call or log on to CBN.com. Let's go back over to Wendy. Thanks, Andrew. When Siti found a lump on her two-year-old stomach, she panicked. She she became even more desperate when doctors told her that her son needed surgery—an operation that she and her husband could never afford. 
city remembers the day her two-year-old son, Adia, was playing with his favorite cars, when suddenly he started to cry. I found a lump on Adia's lower abdomen, and it was about the size of an egg. He couldn't stop crying. I couldn't help but cry too. Siti rushed Adia to the local clinic, where she learned that he had developed a hernia. Adia's dad sells snacks at a factory in this remote village where they live. He took an extra construction job to try to save for his son's surgery, but there was no way they could afford it. We don't have government health care here. We tried to borrow money from our neighbors, but still, there wasn't enough. I wondered where I could get that much money. So this desperate Muslim couple looked outside their religion to an Indonesian shaman for help. Shaman gave us some healing water for Adia to drink, but that didn't work. Then CBN came to their village offering free operations. Siti quickly went to sign up. That same weekend, a surgeon repaired Adia's hernia. A week later, he was running and playing with his big brother. Adia can now sleep well with no more pain. Thank you to CBN and to all the doctors. This has been the best thing that has ever happened to us. <laughs> the best thing that ever happened to us. And you made that possible. When you joined the 700 Club, you become the hands and the feet of arms of Jesus to a hurting world. It's so easy. Just go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Over to you, Gordon. Well, all over the world, CBN medical teams are providing free medicine and surgery for people who can't afford it. And as you're about to see, they've treated patients in some unusual places. In the aftermath of a typhoon that ripped through the Philippines late last year, Acer and Diana struggled to find medical help for their three-month-old daughter. She was struggling to breathe. So they rode five hours by motorcycle to find the CBN disaster medical team. We just took a chance. We weren't sure if they'd actually be there. A flat tire had delayed the team's arrival, so Acer and his family went looking for them. Soon, they found the team a few miles down the road changing the tire. There on the side of the road, CBN's Dr. Sheila examined baby Hannah and told the couple she had pneumonia. We quickly gave her an antibiotic, along with enough medicine to continue her treatment. That roadside care saved baby Hannah's life. It was good that we saw her. She could have died from this if she had not received treatment in time. In addition to the free medical care, we gave the couple some food and other supplies for the journey home. Thanks for saving our baby's life. Be a part of it. It's when people faithfully give that we're able to have the infrastructure needed to have that kind of support, to have the medical volunteers, to have the administration, to have the, the medicines in place to provide that kind of relief. So if, if you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of that. If you're not a member, call us now. There's still time to get in on this. 1-800-759-0700. It's been a glorious day. We had a $210,000 challenge, and against that, you gave 234000 We'll leave you with this verse from Proverbs. If you help the poor, you are lending to the Lord, and he will repay you. For all of us here, God bless you. We'll see you again. It's a place where everyone wants to go. It was as if I was looking at a million shimmering diamonds. I was planning on staying. A place filled with happiness and free of fear. There was no pain, no regret, only anticipation. Everything is right. There's nothing wrong here. I didn't see a face. I didn't see any features other than this beautiful light. It can't be explained in human terms. How do you get there? I left my body. I know I did. And I was very aware of the fact that I had just died. And who gets to go? I just recognize the fact that God is with me. I was thrust through this white portal, and instantly I was standing in the presence of Almighty God. Heaven. See real-life stories of people who have been there in this new teaching from Pat Robertson. Available now. Heaven. 
eye hasn't seen, neither has ear heard, what God has prepared for them that love Him. There'll be no more tears. There'll be no more sorrow. There'll be no more suffering. That's why we want to be part of it. Heaven, what God has prepared for those who love Him. Get this newest DVD teaching from Pat Robertson. Available now.